our financial expert and fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Niger, building at the DG as a builder to Niger University uh, to explore avenues for diversifying revenue streams and fostering uh, strategic partnership with government uh, government agencies. We are added to disclose this at the bursary made in annual lecture held at Osho State University Auditorium in Osho the State Capital. Now, speaking on the topic securing the future of financial residence and risk management in the Niger University system. The speaker highlighted rules of bursary in various institutions as a backbone of financial dispensation, noting that there is need to acknowledge the importance of stakeholders in the shared mission of ensuring that the financial resilience and risk management is uh, entrenched in the Niger University system. To a day, when the designation of the bursar will change to the director of finance, or chief finance officer, it will come, whether you like it or not. Because when we are bossa, it doesn't really confirm the kind of thinking that will make you know that truly you are a chief finance officer. But whether we like it or the next two, three, four, five years, they are going to change the designation of bossa to chief finance officer. Most of our universities need to put on their thinking cap if they must survive. And I want to tell you, Nigeria is not the first country that will go through this kind of a situation. Malaysia, it took Malaysia almost 30 years before they could reverse their economy. Government has always been a pillar of support to the Citadel of Learning, not only um, Uni Oshun, to all the Citadel of Learning uh, in, in Oshun State. We've always, you know, give our support, both financially and in other areas that they might call upon us. We are all aware of the situation in the country now, and um, because the educational system is very, very critical and germane to uh, the, the, the governor of the state, we are giving our support to make sure that um, Ocean State, you know, keep the flag flying. Earlier in his address, the boss of Ferriga and Paul Lariwa said the financial resilience and risk management are essential pillars in ensuring the sustained growth and development of the Nigerian university system. Financial resilience and risk management are essential pillars in ensuring sustained growth and development of our university system. The role of us in this regard cannot be by emphasized because we have to ensure that we put everything in place to discharge our duty efficiently and effectively through meticulous attention to complete landscape, and ensuring effective use of uh, uh, new uh, uh, communication technology and financial technology to be able to solve all these problems, to navigate the complex landscape and work towards striving academic environment. The Vice Chancellor of the University said the annual lecture provides an opportunity and also a veritable platform to interact with industries and deliberate on strategies for enhancing financial resilience. The annual Boston lecture provides us with an invaluable platform to deliberate on strategies for enhancing financial resilience. We must explore menus for diversifying revenue streams, optimizing resources allocation, and fostering strategic partnerships with government agencies, industries, and philanthropic organizations. Moreover, it is crucial for us to instill a culture of fiscal discipline and transparency at every level of our institution. This requires collective effort from both the university administration, the faculty students. The event also featured panel discussion, interactive session, as well as presentation of awards. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.